All right, we are sitting here right now with uh, Kelly McGillivray, who is the chief methodologist um, over at People Count here in Toronto, Ontario. So kind to sit down with us, Kelly. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, we wanted to start off because there's been a big focus on metrics uh, recently in the industry. It should have been the <laughs> focus from the beginning, but uh, now we're finally starting to get to the point where we're creating standards. The DPAA um, is creating standards and, and, and metrics so that it's easier to talk to people and brand managers, networks about uh, the possibility for advertising and really just see how the networks work. So. I wanted to start out by asking Kelly um, a little bit about a background about People Count because you guys have been in the out of home space for a while. So, could you give us a little bit of a history? Yeah, People Count's been around since 1995. We have started out and we've always specialized in measuring out of home advertising, traditional billboards, and so on. And then uh, in the early 2000s, got into place based media, uh, companies like Zoom Media mm -hmm. here in Canada and uh, malls and things like that, and then now we're working on a transit methodology. Transit methodology, yeah. great. That's been a big um, growing sector in digital out of home, and not, not just in the United States, but also globally, as we said in another interview exactly. um, in, uh, with, uh, with Fabio Rivera from uh, a transit company down in Brazil. But um, we wanted to ask you, a, a big question is, uh, a lot of network operators that are out there are wondering, what am I doing wrong? Because I'm just not getting the type of quality uh, advertisers that I'm looking for. And what, what's the first thing that networks do wrong? Well, um, I hate to emphasize the negative, but if you say what are they doing wrong or what have I seen mm -hmm. being done wrong, is uh, I think the emphasis being too much uh, right away on the, the hardware and the mm -hmm. software, mm -hmm. the screens, uh, grabbing, signing up as many venues as they can. And uh, really what the way I advocate doing is look at the audience, look at what the people are already doing in these locations, mm -hmm. look at how they already interact, how long they stay, where they face, where they sit, and then tailor the actual network and the content to suit that particular audience. Okay, good. So that's one of the big things that people see. They see this great technology. They say, wow, I want that. It's going to be great. I'm going to interact with everybody. And that might not be the case if people right. aren't even looking at it in the first yeah, place. It's going to exactly. be completely irrelevant. So yeah. from an audience metric standpoint, uh, the metrics are crucial, obviously, for the advertisers. But what else can it tell us? Can it tell us about better content strategies? Are there, are there other things that, that metrics can tell a network so that it can improve itself. Sure, yeah. I mean, we do both uh, metrics like uh, measuring the audience and also campaign effectiveness. So mm. that's where you can really tell, you know, how is the message actually getting through mm -hmm. to people. And so uh, we can, you know, test different types of content or audio versus no audio mm. and things like that. So, yeah, we've definitely... We come to learn not just about the networks, but about the metric. I mean, the content itself or mm -hmm. the creative. And uh, for example, uh, every frame counts, is what I always say. Yeah. Like really, every second is a little snippet of an advertisement, and people look at it and decide is it relevant to them or not. Mm -hmm. And if there's, you know, if, if there's nothing that they can visually see that relates to the brand at that moment they'll never connect, you know, the two things. So it has to be really, you know, sliced up into very quick little segments mm -hmm. with um, making sure that the brand appears or the brand logo or whatever it is fairly frequently. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. I mean, Kelly, I have to say thank you so much for sitting down with us. It was okay. a great pleasure speaking with you and everything. Uh, one big point to remember is that digital signage, and this is something that you told me a little bit earlier, digital signage is usually put out to address a problem. Um, a problem in communication, a different way for people to uh, connect to the people that are actually in their locations. If there is no problem, then digital signage might not be the best way to go. So it's very important to have audience metrics from the beginning to understand your network so that you can make it as good as possible. I think that's kind of one of the over overarching themes. So Kelly, right. again, thank Thanks. you so much.